Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. look like um, a really long and big one so we can go camping in it. Doors that when you lift up it goes up in the air. Yeah. Monster truck with a blue colour and really big wheels. I want it to be like a van. Mine will probably be a flying car. A camouflage um, army jeep. I don't need an outfit selfie. <laughs> I've heard of the word but I don't need any other full explanation of what it means. <laughs> Something that is just being burned and making like fumes. It's when you use oh. power created by the earth. Um, I think it's kind of like the engine that's at the back of the car. Just boiled fossils. <laughs> yes, I think I would be a good driver. I think I'm going to be a driver that, that, that drives steadily. Drive myself to the shop and buy me whatever I want. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go fast, but sometimes I'll be uh, probably slow as a snail. That's fancy. I would say it's an electric car, so it's not polluting the world as much, so it's quite an um, environmentally friendly car. It didn't have a tailpipe, I don't think. It looked like a really cool car, like like a bus car. They've got a heating steering wheel as well, I spotted that. Wow, it's a big space. Everyone in the world should not pollute. I think David Attenborough, he's doing quite a good thing. Because electric cars are electric. It's not given like like out anything that could like kill the fish or anything. Petrol cars sometimes when they drive, smoke comes out. And you don't have to like go to the petrol station. You can just plug it in with a electric wire thing. Electric cars might save the planet because they're not because they're not burning chemicals and putting them all over our planet.